Hi, welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is Efrias. If this is your first time here in my YouTube channel, you want to learn to grow your channel and get more views on your YouTube video, we'll start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell button so you don't miss anything. Okay, okay so for now, this video actually is the continuation of the last video that I upload. Supposed to be top 16, but since my phone is in low memory, so I decided to set as part 1 and part 2. So now, let's proceed right after. YouTube is a search of engine, which means search engine optimization or SEO. YouTube's algorithm takes multiple items into account when selecting videos for search result, and the platform provides a number of opportunities to optimize your channel and videos, including video file names, titles, descriptions, and tag. So include as much information as possible. Crucially, you need to know which keywords you want your videos and channel to rank for. You discover relevant keywords by typing potential keywords into the search bar to see what's appear in the autocomplete. You can also use free keyword tools like Google Trends and Google Ads Keywords Planner. For more help on searching keywords for content, check out the post in Google Keywords Planner. From there, you will see five ways to use it without using AdWords. But beware, because YouTube will penalize you when you use keywords that are not relevant to your video. Also, keep your titles between 60 to 70 characters long. This gives you the most room to create a compelling title while also ensuring that it won't be captured in search results. For sure, you need to use keywords to help your videos rank in search results, but to get more free YouTube views, you also need your video titles and descriptions to appeal to viewers. In general, aim for a balance between accurate, informative, and attention grabbing. Optimizing your channel is vital to strengthening your brand and boosting your YouTube views. And YouTube provides plenty of ways to optimize your channel. Make sure that your YouTube branding is consistent with your website and other social channels. This means using the same logo, images, and colors. Your profile picture should be 800 by 800 pixels or square size. It should also still look good when displayed smaller. Your banner art should be at least 2560 by 1440 pixels and there is a template to help you design your banner art in YouTube's Creator Academy. And next is the description. This is shown on your channel's about tab. You only get 1000 characters so make them count. What should you write in your YouTube channel description? We'll start with a quick description of your brand and the benefits of your products. Tell viewers why they should watch your videos. Are you teaching them something or is your channel mostly about entertainment? And tell viewers what's in it for them. Just like your individual video titles, make sure that you include your targeted keywords in your YouTube channel description. You can also add your social channels links to your website in a way to get in contact. In other words, make it easy for viewers to find out more about your brand. Also add your channel keywords once you have researched and decided on the keywords you want your channel to rank for in the search results. Click channel and then advance, then simply input your keywords into the box titled channel keywords. Another is, showcase your channel with a video trailer featuring your best content. Your YouTube trailer is a short video that's shown to new visitors on your channel. It is a fantastic opportunity to show viewers that what kind of content you create or the benefits of your channel provides and then encourage them to subscribe. And lastly, enable related channels. This is the biggest mistake if you disable the related channels because if you turn it off, you actually remove your channel from YouTube. Recommendations. As a consequence, you will lose the network effect that makes YouTube such a powerful tool. In summary, make sure that you optimize your YouTube channel and that's all of your information is complete. A thumbnail is a video's preview image. This little image is extremely important if you want to get more free YouTube views. When you upload a video, you can choose of the auto-generated thumbnails images. But I suggested not to use auto-generated images. Instead, create and upload your own custom thumbnail image. 
an effective thumbnail image can help your videos stand out. In fact, YouTube recommends that you should think about your thumbnail before you start filming. From that way, you can make sure you capture the footage needed to create a compelling thumbnail image. A good thumbnail is one that is eye-catching, compelling, congruent with your brand, and accurately represents the video's content. In general, try to include brightly colored backgrounds, close-up of faces, text overlays, subtle branding like small logo or watermark. Okay, what about the technicalities? Your thumbnail should be used as 16 ratio 9 aspect ratio, as this is the most used aspect ratio in YouTube players. And thumbnails should have a resolution of 1280 by 720 and have a file size of less than 2 MB or be formatted as a JPG, JIF, BMP, or PNG. You can also use a free image editing and graphic designing tool like Canva to create your thumbnails. Remember, thumbnails are one of the ways to catch the attention of people browsing YouTube, so make sure that yours are effective and compelling. Creating videos are great, but sometimes your audience will need a transcription due to language constraints or disability. YouTube allows for closed captions where the transcript is added as subtitles to a video. Viewers can toggle these subtitles on and off at will. If you plan on opening your videos to an international market, transcriptions can be a great idea with translating scripts helping with this with other language abilities to understand your videos better. Guest blogging is a great way to gain new followers and viewers. Identifying influencers who have a similar audience to yours will open your channel up to potential viewers who have the same interest as you. Building a close relation with these influencers after creating a video with them will mean that they will share your videos with their followers if you do the same for them. This reciprocity is a surefire way to gain free new views on YouTube. Guest bloggers are great not just for free ways to get more views but also to add more variety to your videos. Having another person to brainstorm video ideas with can open the door to creating videography which will in turn create more views on your YouTube channel. Following on from guest bloggers, building a strong influencer community that shares community content and works together to help everyone involved is a great way to get more views on YouTube channel. Being an influencer can be very lonely and confidative. Reaching out to influencers similar to yourself to share knowledge and information can help to build a community of influencers that look after each other and help people who are struggling and reaching out to them will start the ball rolling but be sure to have a good and compelling reason to maintain contact so that it is a reciprocal relationship and not one-sided. Keeping up to date with things happening in your industry can be the difference between becoming popular or sinking into the background. Those with a deep understanding of what is happening in their world can create videos that are current and interesting to those researching the Nietzsche. But this knowledge of your industry also helps you identify viral content as it happens, so you can share it with your following before anyone else. Being the first to share information will identify you as a leader in your field, leading to more exposure to your content and more views. And that's all guys and hope you like, share and comment on this video. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to be updated on my new upload videos. Okay, bye.